Let the hearts that seek the Lord rejoice. Turn to the Lord and his strength. Constantly seek his face. <clears throat> In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of the Father, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us begin our Eucharist this morning by quietly placing ourselves in the Lord's presence, aware of his love for us, and ask for his mercy and forgiveness. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, increase our faith, hope, and charity, and make us love what you command, so that we may merit what you promise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, be kind to one another, compassionate, forgiving one another as God has forgiven you in Christ. Be imitators of God as beloved children and live in love as Christ loved us and handed himself over for us as a sacrificial offering to God for a fragrant aroma. Immorality or any impurity or greed must not even be mentioned among you, as is fitting among holy ones. No obscenity or silly or suggest suggestive talk which is out of place, but instead thanksgiving. Be sure of this, that no immoral or impure or greedy person, that is, an idolater, has any inheritance in the kingdom of Christ and of God. Let no one deceive you with empty arguments. For because of these things, the wrath of God is coming upon the disobedient. So do not be associated with them. For you were once darkness, but now you are light in the Lord. Live as children of light. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Behave like God as his very dear children. Behave like God as very dear children. Blessed the man who follows not the counsel of the wicked, nor walks in the way of sinners, nor sits in the company of the insolent, but delights in the law of the Lord and meditates on his law day and night. Behave, Behave like, like God, God as his very dear children. He is like a tree planted near running water that yields its fruit in due season and whose leaves never fade. Whatever he does prospers. Behave, Behave like, like God, God as his very dear children. Not so the wicked, not so. They are like chaff, which the wind drives away. 
For the Lord watches over the way of the just, but the way of the wicked vanishes. Behave like, like God as his very dear children. children. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus was teaching in a synagogue on the Sabbath, and a woman was there who for 18 years had been crippled by a spirit. She was bent over, completely incapable of standing erect. When Jesus saw her, he called to her and said, Woman, you are set free from your infirmity. He laid hands on her, and she stood at once, stood up straight, and glorified God. But the leader of the synagogue, indignant that God had cured on the Sabbath, said to the crowd in reply, There are six days when work should be done. Come on those days to be cured, and not on the Sabbath day. The Lord said to him in reply, Hypocrites! Does not each one of you on the Sabbath untie his ox or his ass from the manger and lead it out for watering? This daughter of Abraham, whom Satan has bound for 18 years now, ought she not have been set free on the Sabbath day from this bondage? When he had said this, all his adversaries were humiliated, and the whole crowd rejoiced at all the splendid deeds done by him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In his letter to the Ephesians, St. Paul encouraged the community in Ephesus to live lives that were worthy of their calling as Christian people. And he taught them the way to, spiritually, to a spiritually healthy Christian community, how to create that healthy Christian community. And it comes down in this passage to a very small word. That's what makes the whole difference. Very small word. In fact, Paul used it several times in the passage that we just heard from his letter to the Ephesians. It's a small word, but it can have a huge impact on our journey to holiness, to be saints. And the word is as. Just two little letters. As. Be kind to one another, compassionate, forgiving one another, as God has forgiven you in Christ. This little word, two letters, A-S, direct us to the model for our life. Paul writes, be imitators of God as beloved children. Now there is only one beloved child of God that is meant in this passage. You might remember at the transfiguration when Jesus was there with, with Moses and Elijah, and the voice of the Father was heard saying, this is my beloved Son, and listen to him. We are to be imitators of God as Jesus imitated the Father. And how did Jesus imitate the Father? What did Jesus witness to? Compassion, kindness, mercy, and love. Huge challenges often come in simple concepts and small words like as. We are to live as Jesus lived. St. Paul wrote, you were once in darkness, but now you are light in the Lord. Live as children of light. Jesus is the light of the world, so we should live as Jesus. Throughout our lives, we have all wandered into the darkness. We all do that at times. Sister Miriam Pollard is a Carmelite sister from Arizona. And she wrote that all of us at one time resembled this woman in the gospel who was stooped over for 18 years. She wrote, each of us is to some extent that woman. Each of us can spend our lives looking at mud puddles, mourning the tragedies and sins of human life, 
wanting what we have not been given, resenting what we have been given, afraid of what we will be given, creating a whole world of negativity. Now, the leader of this synagogue was not behaving as a child of the light. Cowardly, he was criticizing the people for thinking they should come to the the synagogue to be healed on the Sabbath. That was classic passive aggressive behavior because he was he was really directing that at Jesus, but he couldn't do it directly to Jesus because the people were rejoicing in the works of Jesus. So instead, he criticized the people and directed his anger at them. See, the synagogue leader was caught up in man-made rituals. He was not imitating the kindness, the compassion, and the love as God wanted, as a child of God. Jesus was imitating the Father as revealed in the story of creation. Recall this from the second chapter of Genesis. Since on the seventh day God was finished with the work he had been doing, he rested on the seventh day. God blessed the seventh day and made it holy. So on this particular Sabbath in Judea, Jesus wanted to give this woman rest from 18 years of suffering. Jesus wanted her to begin a new life of physical freedom on the Sabbath. On the Sabbath. So Jesus said to her, woman, you are set free of your infirmity. On the Sabbath, he was creating her all anew again, just as God had rested on the Sabbath, he was giving her rest from all of her pain on the Sabbath. Jesus was doing what the Father had done. We witness to being beloved children of God and living as children of the light when we are willing to set people free from physical, emotional, psychological bonds. We can show kindness to others, express compassion to those who suffer, and also show mercy to those who are burdened by guilt by showing mercy, by saying, I forgive you to someone, even though it may mean swallowing our pride. That can free them from that bond as Jesus did. Be imitators of God as beloved children. When we are beloved as Jesus was beloved of the Father, then we will be holy as God is holy. Jesus would cry out in prayer to the Father. So let us do as Jesus did and offer our prayers to our Father in heaven. And what are your prayers? Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer.
Pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For the repose of the soul of Al Whitney, for whom this Mass is being offered, and for all of our deceased relatives and friends, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for the prayers that remain in the silence of our hearts, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And entrusting our prayers to the Blessed Mother, we pray, Hail Mary, Mary, full full of of grace, grace, the the Lord Lord is with with you. Blessed Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed Blessed be God forever. Pray, my friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice in your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church. Lord, look, we pray on the offerings we make to your majesty, that whatever is done by us in your service may be directed above all to your glory. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift, since our praises add nothing to your greatness but profit us for salvation through Christ Jesus, our Lord. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you, and with joy we proclaim, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread. And giving you thanks, he broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving you thanks, gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith, when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring it to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Robert, our Bishop, John and Ramon, his auxiliaries, the clergy, religious, and all your people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, For the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And the peace of the Lord Jesus be with you always and with your spirit. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away, away the, the sins, sins of the world. world. Have, Have mercy, mercy on us. us. Lamb, Lamb of God, God you, you take away the sins of the world. world. Have mercy on us. God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. May your sacraments, O Lord, we pray, perfect in us what lies within them, that when we now celebrate in what we now celebrate in signs, we may one day possess in truth. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. On election day, which is a week from tomorrow, we're going to have adoration of the Blessed Sacrament from the morning until the polls close over in the St. Francis Chapel. So if you'd like to commit to an hour of prayer or some time of prayer, we have a sign-up list in the back of the church that you can sign up for a particular hour that you'd like to make yourself available to be present uh, in the chapel. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in the peace of Christ. Thanks Thanks be be to God. God.